Hello, good morning. Another day in isolation and um, what an adaption it is to make. Yesterday, Saturday, I think I made a mistake. Um, I got up at a normal time, but I didn't um, really bother to style my hair or to put any makeup on. And I think that that was probably a mistake because um, I probably yeah, I did. Not probably, I did. I felt less motivated about the day. Um, so today I have got up, showered um, and uh, did my hair and my makeup just as I would for any other day as if I was going to meet uh, people. Um, you'll also notice my fringe is a lot shorter. It suddenly occurred to me that um, if you're in isolation, you can't avail yourself of the services of a hairdresser. So um, this is my first attempt at cutting my fringe. I've gone a bit wrong, but um, that bit's going to stay a bit wrong until the rest of it grows down a little bit. Um, there's lots of things <laughs> that we're going to have to think about um, with our lifestyles. Anyway, um, I spent the morning um, packing and shipping orders and um, we're very lucky our dear postman when he drops mail off he will pick it up I know that that probably happens in the US but in this country it doesn't really happen but our postman is so kind to us um, so after that I spent the whole day stitching and chatting on the internet now on Friday night I posted a photograph of a border that I just stitched and had met up and I asked if anybody recognised which sampler it came from. Well, the sampler I am currently reproducing is Kachura Cooper, which is one of the giveaway prizes. If you're not familiar with the giveaway, if you look um, two floss tubes videos back from this one, you'll find details of the giveaway. So, um, I haven't charted all of her. But I thought it would be interesting for you to see how I do go about charting. So I always tend to put the border in first. And when I chart the border, I wouldn't be adding um, adornments to the border. I want to get the basic um, the, or the main line of the border going around and making sure that it meets up. And then when it does, I will adorn the border with whatever uh, is there, leaves, flowers, whatever. Now, with Katura, she has this line that runs across. And on the um, original sampler, that um, meets up at a set point here and a set point there. So what I did when I was charting, as soon as I got the border in and before I added um, these little, um, I'm not quite sure what they are, um, little circular things, I actually got this line in as well to make sure that everything was squaring up. And now I have this outside border this inner line, I have got lots of reference points to work uh, from with my charting because when we chart a sampler, we count every thread of linen and every stitch to make sure that everything is as accurate as possible. So what I did um, was this side, I then used this position to get this motif in and then from that, I could get this motif and this motif, giving myself a cross reference back to the border. And then I could add this uh, border to the inner cartouche. And then I did the same, the other side. And I know that this is exactly by the thread um, correct to the original sampler. Now I'm stitching this as I'm charting it um, and I have got to uh, this position. 
So um, today I'm going to add in these little gold coloured, um, I'm not quite sure <laughs> what they are, um, seed pods maybe, I'm not sure. I'll have to ask Sandra. Sandra's um, very, very good on plant types and uh, flowers. Now, um, this is a lot smaller than uh, the original and it's because I'm stitching from my stash. We're all going to be uh, relying on our stash. I keep on saying to my husband, I told you I needed to buy that. <laughs> um, could you imagine what we would be like if we were stuck at home without stitching supplies? Um, the fabric I'm using is Weeks Zweigard based uh, Confederate Grey and as you can see that is a really really good choice um, to match up to the original. Oh, gosh I'm sorry there's such a reflection but I'm sure you can see that is a really really good match. Um, I wouldn't normally, and in fact, I'm not stitching with these uh, medium size uh, side stretchers. I've just put those on so that I can show you the whole um, sampler for the video. Um, I normally stitch with the short sidebars. Now, this is the project that I was working on, but um, I'm focusing more on smalls now that are suitable to release via download and easier for you to kit up. But I will um, hop back to this one. Um, this house has some lovely chimneys to go on and I think the chimneys on this house really make it special. This is lovely. I really enjoyed working out all the position of the bricks on this house. Anyway, let's go back to Keturah. Um, I haven't pulled all the colours yet, but there's not very many colours in Keturah. Um, she's got three greens, and the greens that I'm going with are um, a, a middle shade of green, and that is the border. And then the inner cartouche has a border in the lighter green, and then some of the motifs um, in the sampler I have this um, darker green and then the unusual colour for the vine that runs across the sampler is a navy blue. This is the, um, the sort of terracotta salmony pink that I've chosen and I'm really really pleased with that because it's an excellent choice although you're not really going to see it with these lights, to the original. I spend longer matching colour than anything else uh, when it comes down to um, reproducing samplers. I wasn't working very tidily last night. I wasn't being very good putting my ends um, in the spool caps to secure them. Um, what else? What else? Um, oh gosh, Mary Steed. She has been so popular. I'm really, really glad that everybody's enjoying um, her. Note the matching project bag. Everything has to be matching. So there we are. There's Mary Steed again. Um, She's such a pretty little sampler. And the unusual motif about Mary is this little um, double-headed eagle. That's not something that you see very often in schoolgirl samplers. And I really enjoyed researching about the double-headed eagle. It's always good to learn uh, from everything you do. And with that in mind, learning, we might as well be making good use of our time um, whilst we're isolating in our own homes. And it's good to use that time to learn a new skill. Um, and there's lots of ways of learning uh, through books, through YouTube videos. Um, so what I've decided to do um, later today, I'm going to release one video from a workshop 
that I gave for Esther Benson, which was Sassy Jack's exclusive. And the video I'm going to release free of charge is the one that looks at stem stitch. Now, stem stitch is one of my favourite stitches. And if you can do stem stitch, it flings open the doors of so many samplers to you. Um, so watch out for this video later on today. I'm going to leave it as a free video whilst um, we're all in isolation. And I hope that you watch it and that you will have the courage to have a go yourself. Um, and, um, you know, let's use this downtime to be productive, to broaden our horizons, even though we are stuck in our own home. With the internet, we are able to do that. Um, we will be releasing another little gem. Um, I have it ready to go, but um, I think we'll probably release her sometime, uh, not this week coming, the week after. And that little gem will have uh, a stitch that we can all learn how to do. And um, we'll have a video uh, to help you learn how to do that stitch. And if you don't want to do the stitch on your sampler, you can very easily replace it with um, a cross stitch. Um, the clue to the sampler is um, she's Scottish um, and there are strong hints of Scottish in her but she's very different to any other sampler that I had seen before and I like different. So anyway, I'm going to go and fill today's orders. Um, even though it's a Sunday, they won't actually go in the post, but they will be ready to go tomorrow when our postman comes. Um, and then I'm going to carry on stitching on Keturah um, and um, spending some time on the internet. The internet takes a lot of stitching time away, but it's really good to keep in contact with everybody. Um, so um, I'm rambling now. So what I'm going to say is stay safe, stay well, and into the, got my teeth in a jam then. Stay safe, stay well, and until the next time, bye-zee-bye.